Hello, welcome to Souls Intersect. This reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising signs, and it is focused on March of 2017. I'll take you through the cards first. From the top left, we have the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and then in the center, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups, and on the bottom, the World, the Hermit, and the Five of Cups. Okay, a few general things. I'm going to look at these different rows before I come to this. I usually start with the center card, but I'm seeing some themes in the three rows. So in the left row, the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Five of Cups, I do feel that there has been something that has caused sorrow on some level. It could be something that's already happened or happening right now. It doesn't feel upcoming. It feels that you've already experienced it and are still feeling a lot of the emotions around it, but are having trouble knowing how to cope with them. It's not that you're not facing them. It's just, I feel that you don't know what to do with these emotions, that they're there and they're looming. And I feel that there's sort of a block with this four of pentacles. It may be that you've even isolated to a certain extent and um, kept yourself away from others because of how confusing some of these emotions are but it, for most of you it feels more like you're holding back you're keeping them in a box essentially in a lot of those four of pentacles depictions you see that person holding pentacles and sitting on a chest and I almost feel like your emotions are being kept in in that chest or in this case underground you see the animals burrowing so I'll come back to that in a moment. The center row, I feel that even while that may be happening, you're extremely busy and extremely worried about getting work done that you need to get done, especially given your state. And that there's definitely a sense, again, for some of you that you're isolating. But I also feel like the hermit, it feel, it's feeling like a hermit in reverse to me where you need to actually give yourself this time to go inward, reflect, and examine those emotions, but you you may logistically just not have much time. And it feels though, like with this Nine of Swords, that a lot of that emotion is converting into worry. And that's concerning. Because I it's only going to I'm getting this sense of things building and that all of that is making it worse. So I don't know if, if you do feel like this is resonating with you, if you're in a position to somehow find a way to take some time, even if it's a day, you don't necessarily have to get away, but find a day to take some time to yourself away from normal routines. It feels like that's something you could benefit from. And then in the left column with the King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the World, well, one thing is that I do feel that renewal is in store. I'm feeling for some of you that the two court cards are people in your life as well, adding even further to these pressures. And my sense there is that a key to this or a first step maybe to speak to these individuals. They could be a husband and son, for example, um, wife and daughter or any permutation of that so your your family your immediate family or extended family it could also be partners that you work with if it's if it's people you work with it's feeling more to me like uh you're you have a close personal relationship like it's a family business and you feel pretty close to them my sense is that they think that they either don't know what's been happening with you on the emotional level or they know and think that you've overcome it or that it's not as much of an issue as it is and I feel that they need to know that it is still an issue. And once you have that conversation, I feel like that might open up an opportunity for you to get the time that you need to go in and reflect or just take some time out or to get a break from some of the work because the work might not be a job too. It might be if you have a child, dealing with a child, um, every day-to-day -day things, same thing, it could be with a partner it could also be, it might not, so it might not actually be logistical type of work. It might be more like duties, um, 
obligations to fulfill. But it's definitely something that's taking up your time and mental space and your energy and not allowing you to process whatever this is. Now, for some of you, if that doesn't feel like something emotional has happened recently, I did just get the message that this could be. So kind of zoom out a broader picture. This could be something that may not have happened recently. In other words, the Five of Cups and Page of Cups energy it feels like it could be for some of you something well in the past. The Page of Cups representing you and dealing with something as a child or an adolescent or at a younger age on the emotional level that has not been dealt with. In this case, that burying of it and putting it in the box has gone a lot longer. So in some sense, this may be more serious, though it might not feel like it because it might be something you haven't touched upon recently. So my sense with that is that if now it resonates with you, I think you'll see the importance of needing to give yourself some time to reflect on it. I'm just actually going to take a moment to send healing because I feel that for some people, it might just be one person watching this. It might not have even come into their consciousness before that there's actually an emotional issue that needs to be dealt with. This actually may have helped someone to realize that. So I want to send some healing around that if that resonates with you. Give me just a moment. And the good thing about that, especially if this is the case for you, I do feel that there are people present. I don't feel that you're alone in this. I feel like most of you have immediate family or extended family nearby, or again, close people who you work with that you like and respect and are close to you. And it, again, their understanding too. Um, just as descriptors that might help, one may be a little younger and have more of a creative mind and one may be like the business owner. And coming up as the King of Pentacles, if it is this business owner, if it is in relation to work or if it's a partner, speaking to them may allow you to get some free time somehow, whether it be a boss, he may open something up to help you get like a day or two off or more, if you're lucky enough, um, or if it's a partner, speaking to them might help them to take some of the burden of the work that this Eight of Pentacles is all about and allow you again that time to, to kind of turn this hermit upright, to give you that time to do it. And I do sense that renewal is in store. You have the world and it's a major arcana. So regardless of whether or not this was an acute lesson, so something that's happened on the emotional level very recently, or something more in the past that's now come up or that you've now realized, the world is bringing in opportunity, a chance for the cycle to end, and a source of renewal. And those are butterflies, if you can't tell. Um, and it just it, it gives you that sense of something kind of being down on the earth level and then being freed and being allowed to take flight. And I sense that with those buried emotions taking flight. And further, I do feel, I still feel really great energy with these two people, especially the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. By the way, the Page of Cups could also be a person. The emotional issue may be someone else. It may be another child in your life, or if it wasn't you as a child, it could be to do with a child. I just wanted to add that in there too. But especially with this Knight of Wands and King of Pentacles, I feel a very supportive energy. Definitely picking up on a father and son, um, but not necessarily related to you. This might just be for one person, but I feel so strongly right now, like a father and son who own a business and you work for them, and you have for a while, or you've established really good connections with them, and they're so, they, they respect you so much, and they're so supportive of you, and I'm not even sure that you see that entirely, but they feel that you've turned their world around. Like I see that coming up with this world in this uh, same column, the sense being that uh, one does feel like maybe is a little more creative and isn't as good at organizing and the other one maybe like more of the investor or the owner, maybe good at managing but not so good at the day to day. And it feels like for this, again, it might just be a specific person, but it might resonate with many of you. You've taken your um, part in this business and been able to, to do these logistical things that they haven't been able to do. You might be an office manager or 
an admin or something, but you've really turned their world around and they're so grateful for your work. And I don't know that you realize that. And I don't know that you realize how much they value you. So if there is something you need to discuss and you need time away, they will give it to you. They will find a way to make it work. And I don't feel like they'll be at risk in any way. I really sense that they've got things for a while. They'll have things under control and they want to give you that if you need it. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up here. If you have any questions about this reading, feel free to contact me at soulsintersect at gmail.com. I also wanted to say that I've rewritten a lot of the content on my website. The address is below. You might have to copy and paste it. Um, it on the site, the content talks about my approach and my services in detail. There's also the address to book a reading if you're interested in doing that. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a good month of March. Take care.